Greetings fellow humans on YouTube, it's Alex here. I'm back with a small thing here, um, in this case it's actually a station this time, and, well, I'll try and boil things down simply. I'm down in the pipeline of things to do in terms of videos. I might actually do a Space Engineer Survival at some point, but I was thinking to myself at the time, uh, I have made yeah, quite a few stations in my time, and uh, of course my, my favourite still is Outpost Theta, but I was thinking to myself, well, what about a station uh, which is a bit more on the starting aspect, uh, you know, for like, it's not too expensive, it's not too big, uh, it's got some creature comforts, you know, you, something you can actually, you know, I suppose in a roleplay scenario, actually live in, if you know what I mean, while at least still doing the job that you would expect a station to do, for whatever reasons that might be. Um, and, well, this is what came became of uh, one of the things I made, uh, mostly, well... Just, I've made several versions of this, but anyway, this is what I'm going to be calling uh, done, and I'm calling this Lost Watch Station. Uh, naming a scheme aside, like I said, it is just a pretty small station, like you can just t see by just the amount of blocks involved. It is not big, it's meant to be compact, but still has enough things going on inside to, you know, kind of feel like a very small space home, if you know what I mean. Uh, and that's kind of it. It's not too. It's not too. You know, much does to say really. It's a. Sm it's a small, compact little station, uh, and would you know, like I said, be very good for you know, you're starting out of survival, and you wanted to start with something. Uh, you know, okay, you're not doing bare metal survival. You know, with just a survival kit. This is something where this could almost be classified as an, e an uh, one of the easy starts, if you know what I mean. The only thing this thing obviously doesn't have out of the box is any kind of mining ships, but then you can sort of place yourself next to an asteroid and yeah, ignore some of the extra things I got going on in the background there. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of it. Let's just get inside and show you what's going on here. Like I said, pretty small, very compact. Uh, also, no mods other than deflector shields. Uh, just made that spell that out there. Of course, there's DLC use, but that's kind of to be expected. But shields, shields are good on so many things, and deflector shields in this case stick the flipping you know generator on the bottom, and there you go. The shields are more more or less there for you know asteroid defense or. Maybe the odd pirate assailant, that kind of thing. Same with turrets, there's not very many of those um, going on anyway. So anyway, the entrance hall, which is essentially this small room here. Like I said, everything is pretty small and compact, but you could tell that from the outside. But this is more of just a small control area. A um, couple of little freight, um, freight containers, a little lab thing there, and batteries in the ceiling of this little module uh, with the armory here. And windows. There's a lot of windows uh, in this particular uh, station. I made that kind of a priority in some respects, just to have a nice sort of open feel to things. Uh, using some neon tubes for these hallways, uh, I don't use these often enough, and I did in this case. You'll also notice the this interesting window design that I kind of ended up going with. Uh, it's using these like armored segmented windows, and technically these are backwards. Um, the, <laughs> you know the. Because obviously we know Windows, they have a clearer side and a less clear side, depending which way you look at it. These are technically backwards, but nevertheless they kind of fit in well in terms of the physical appearance anyway. Uh, here's just the central chamber, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Um, just with the, well, the four access corridors to the four segments of the station. Like I said, it's very small, but I did decide to up my usual level of detail in this case. Um, we actually have a console block in the middle here with actually just a projection blueprint of the station itself, because I could. Uh, and in this case, some armories just all around the room. Just on all four corners, and some glass in the scene. We have obviously the gravity generator on the ceiling, but uh, well, thankfully negative gravity is a thing it can do. And I've limited just for power reasons to just half a G, but whatever, that's all said and done. Um, going down this corridor is actually the ba uh, bedroom area, or barracks I suppose. Uh, only bed space for three people, but like I said, this is a very compact station, and I would not expect that many people to actually be in this station at any one time. Uh, a couple of lockers here with a window, as you can see, windows are kind of everywhere as I keep saying, got a bathroom here and a toilet here. Not forgetting our creature comforts of course, although one day they will give us a flipping door to put on the bathroom, because I don't know about you, I don't want someone to walk in front of me or see me when I'm taking a shit. But that is just a space engineer's thing for you. Going to the exact opposite side of the station here. Uh, you could call this the like a little canteen area with a seating area, so kind of a lounge and eating room, uh, respectively here with obviously plenty of kitchen surfaces, countertops, the actual kitchen itself, 
and of course desks um, with seats and stuff so you can actually sit here get your order in, there's going to be at least one person that's a cook um, in this case and there you go, toilet's literally right next door and I kind of joked with a friend actually, it's like I'm sat here you know, someone's giving me some uh, alcoholic beverages and I'm sitting here just getting drunk well if I have a few, one too many, well the toilet's literally right there so <laughs> exactly, not exactly uh, far to walk or stumble in my case Couple, couple of little uh, sofas here, or couches, sofas, couch, depending on if you are American or an English person when you say that. But yeah, a little sitting area with a jukebox for those times where you want some music. Skylight, of course. Uh, Skylight was actually in the bedroom as well. Anyway, uh, final room here. Uh, this is basically the engineering section. This is pretty much where a lot of your work would be done. Um, and as you can kind of see here, we got a little bit of everything, kind of. Uh, but like I said, this is obviously a, a starter station. It's definitely not... Sorry, I was asked. That was, for some reason, I, was, I thought I was hearing gunfire. Uh, never mind. But yeah, this is obviously being a starter station. You're not going to have a huge amount of stuff going on here. But uh, nevertheless, though, we have at least a basic refinery, uh, cryo chamber there, oxygen, and everything. Um, obviously, with this very small and open design, you could probably already see where I'm going with this. Um, this entire station is essentially one big room, and if there's a hull breach anywhere, we're well, going to lose air throughout the entire station, but, well, because of how small and thin this actual station is, there was no real room to add any kind of conveyors to add separate, you know, air pipes, and obviously then have doors, respectively, to keep the area separated, at least not without ruining the look, in my opinion. So, yeah, we just have this one vent that supplies the station, but that's just what we're going with here. Um, armory and locker sort of wall on this side. There's some car containers there. Survival kit. Uh, I think I told you guys before, but using survival kits a lot more than I am medical stations. Where I need a, a smaller spawn point slash a smaller, uh, you know, medical facility. So that's that. Downstairs, um, just got the hydrogen engine there with an on-off switch control thing here. We have a full-sized assembler. Which is at least one thing. Basic assemblers, other than the other than using it for the progression system, I don't see a real point of using the basic assemblers because, like, you know, going from the basic to full assembler, it's literally only you know going from a one block to a one by two block. It's, it's like it's so easy to fit a one by two block. Like I said, I got like a basic refinery um, up here, and I probably could add a second one, but I did not in this instance. Uh, and down here, remote control block if you've got to control this station remotely, though the irony of that is I don't actually have an antenna on here yet, but whatever, uh, and program block, and the shield enhancer thing from the deflector shields are just sitting under there, uh, and obviously I showed you just kind of around the side here, is the only reactor, so power is pretty much solar, the one reactor here, and the one hydrogen engine, but that's basically it. Cargo is definitely limited, of course, but there's probably about four or five small cargo containers kind of squirreled around in various locations in this back section here. But that is about it for this, um, this the Lost Watch station. It is, like I said, it's very small, very compact, and like I said, for a starter station, if you don't want to start with a bare metal, you know, survival with just that survival kit, um, and that's it then this is kind of the station that I sort of ended up building. Um, like I said, maybe not to everyone's taste, but it was something that I kind of liked how it turned out. Like I said, I build so many things. Sometimes I build something and it's just like, I don't like how this is going, and I might either modify it or scrap it and start again. This was something I built, and I just like how it turned out, and that's pretty much that. Um, this is on the workshop, link to which is in the description, as most links are. Uh, in this case, and yeah, so let me know what you think of this uh, station down below in the comments. Link to my Discord, it's also in the uh, description as always. And you know the door by now, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.